That was quick. You guys ready for some fake trades? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Always. All right, so let me preface this. Love these. You know and how Anthony, much I love these. Make sure you start the clip with me saying, let me preface this. I'm not saying anything's going to happen. These are just trades that I think would make the upcoming season more fun. Simply that. This is not projections. This is just things I would love to see that I know aren't going to happen, but would make the upcoming season a lot more fun. So I think they're all in the realms of the right value for said player. If you guys okay. think I'm way off, by all means, tell me. But I'm going to put out a trade. I'll tell you why I think it makes sense. You guys can tell me I'm crazy. You hate right. him. You like him. Whatever. And then we'll get to here the we go. I love this. Go Cleveland ahead. rookie hype. Uh, Earl has a trade in here. Bull, you have a trade in here. I got a couple. Yeah. The first one does involve Jonathan Taylor. Are you going to say who came up with these trades? Yeah, this is mine. Jonathan Taylor to the Eagles for Jordan Davis and a fourth-round pick You've got to give year. up more than a fourth-round pick. Jordan Davis was a first-round pick last year at a premium position. Yeah. He is now second team on the depth chart after they drafted Jalen Card in the first round. He played a ton of preseason snaps, so maybe they're not as high on him. To get a former first-round pick who was considered one of the top prospects in the draft back for Jonathan Taylor, to me, feels like a pretty decent return. And the Eagles are in win-now mode. They're not paying Jalen Hurts. His extension is a kick until next year. Their running back core is talented but injury-prone. And if you're the Eagles... Before Jalen Hurts' contract kicks in, this is when you go full send, all in, balls on the table. Yeah. This is put up or shut up. Adding Jonathan Taylor to that offense, behind that offensive line. What do you guys say about that trade? Right? Put, put that back up real quick. It was Jonathan Taylor for Jordan Davis and a 2024 fourth round. Pick. I do think you need to go higher on draft compensation. How good was Jordan Davis last year? It was okay, but they just drafted another Georgia defensive tackle in the first round this year. Yeah, I mean, okay. I don't know enough about Jordan Davis to, to know what his I would take. Is. Uh, I would I would make the move if you want to go ahead and go give me a second round pick and Jordan Davis. So Jordan Davis in a little bit of a higher pick. Higher yes. pick, yeah. Give me the higher pick because here's uh, the thing they they got that would. So the crazy part about it is if if you're gonna get rid of the offensive guy, I mean, they still got the DeForest Buckner. Um, the Colts suck, so they're trying but, to tank. This just gives you another young piece. Yeah, another young to help build dude. that defensive line. Uh, but, our, our resident Eagles fan, Steve Becker, and Eagles fans are unbearable at this point. I mean, <laughs> the Phillies are playing well. At least the Sixers are a disaster. That's good. Uh, he says he wouldn't make the trade. That's I, I'm just these are trades I think would because make the season won, more fun. I think they're cocky because they won without a essentially without a running back last year, and they brought in DeAndre Swift, who's you know, pretty talented. Yeah. But he can't stay healthy, though, so I don't know. Do you think Jonathan Taylor in that – let's say it was Davis in a second-round pick. Yeah. Uh, he makes them better. I would do it if I were Philly. He makes but, them better. But, see, this when teams don't – this is the this is the tell. They are like the bull. They don't really want to run the ball like that anyway. They, they got Jalen Hurts. That's true. He going to either – going they going to put the ball in his hands – and they either going to pull the screens down and take off for, for, for runs, or they're going to throw the ball to the two receivers <coughs> they're paying all that money to. Mm. They really don't really want to run the ball like that, dog. But then you got to pay him after you trade but, for him. Then you got to pay him. I mean, yeah, right. That, so that well, complicates things. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> Go ahead, Mike. I don't think you trade. I don't think he'd be traded unless that was part of the like. Well, plan. I'm saying like you got to give up draft comp for him. Yeah, but then true. you got to. Really compensate them after that. You know, if you got it, if you got a, if you got a top flight quarterback, right? So this is why it's very interesting to see what the Browns do, because when you look at uh, uh, Allen, um, even Austin Eckler in, in L.A., he's not going to get no new deal. Joe nope. Mixon had to take a pay cut. Yep. Those quarterbacks are going to get the ball and they're going to throw the ball. Yeah. So that's fair. Go ahead, Mike. All right. Next up's a Cooper Cup trade that I came up with. We'll do your Cooper Cup trade next. Ball. They're very, very similar though. Okay. So. And we have Tyvis' answer to your trade. But first, the Giants don't have a bona fide number one receiver. The Rams may decide to blow it up this year. What about Cooper Cup to the Giants? By the way, you say a, they don't have a bona fide first receiver as if they have a guy who could be. No, they have th they their have receiving nobody. core is yeah. not good. Just flat Cooper out Cooper Cup for a second for and fourth this year and a second, second next, next year. Season. Oh, stop that. That's way too high. Why would the Giants get That's a lot. You think that's too much? Because that's less than what Bull's going to offer in the next trade. I don't agree with you. Cooper Cup's one of the best receivers. I know he's old. He's come, he's come off major injuries two out of the last three years. He's over the age of 31. He's a smallish receiver. I don't think he's and, over 31, is he? I think he is 30 right now. Hold on. I'll look it up. Yeah. 
Two, I would I would do that if I was. A set, he's thirty years old. Turns thirty one this year. G. Oh, he just turned thirty. So I, just I would 30. do that if I were the Giants. A second and a fourth and another second. You and Giants too, can't win a Super Bowl with Daniel Jones anyway. So what's too the much point? to give up. Is that what you're saying, G? Hey, shit! They're not, you're not getting that. You're not sniffing yeah, that second I, in twenty twenty five. I'll give you a second and, and a six. I mean, Devontae Adams just got. He's old too. And he got traded for two ones, didn't he? What did he get traded for? Well, he There's did. a delay. Did you just hear that? Slightly. Really? They no. tripped up. Oh, it's back. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yep. Um, no, he just got traded for a first and a second. Yeah, I mean, why mm. shouldn't uh, Cooper Cup bring back similar to Devontae Adams? That's, that's too high for me. I'm too. not doing it if I'm the Giants because that's not going to win you a Super Bowl. Yeah, I... I I think I did. I say it to the Giants too, or did I say it to no, the Browns? No, you said to someone else, and I'll get to. But once again, these are just to make the season more fun. Yeah, so. right. Uh, from that perspective, yeah. From the resident Giants fan, is yeah. this yours? Yeah, I did this one. Yeah, the yeah. Giants. Well, that's why he the put Giants the Giants. Giants don't think they can't win the if Super Bowl. If Cooper Cup can win you a Super Bowl, then go get them. But the well, Giants. Well, that leads us to the next one. Then this yeah. is Bulls trade for Cooper Cup, and we will listen to Tyvis before you guys answer. I'll tell you the trade. We'll listen to Tyvis. And then we can do this. But Steve, will you take the next trade, 221 here first? This is Bulls Cooper Cup trade. Nope. This, yep, this is it. You're right. You take it. Cooper Cup to the Rams. To the Chiefs, excuse me, for a first. Oh, a I had it to the a Chiefs. Second. That's right. And before you guys chime in, let's hear Tyvis on this trade. Of course he wants the Chiefs to have him. No, the Chiefs ain't getting better with him. No. <laughs> uh, if he went to the Chiefs, that's that's literally almost cursed. That's, that's That would be insane. Um that I, that would be almost like when Kevin Durant signed to the Warriors. They would break the NFL. I think that that's how significant uh, that I, trade would be from an offensive standpoint. No. Because by, by the way, essentially two guys that can't be checked: Travis Kelsey and Cooper Cup, with the best quarterback in history. So the Chiefs should one thousand percent be all over it. But the rest of the NFL will veto that. By the way, very odd that you have Earl sitting in the background there, and, and you didn't get Earl to move. Earl's working. I'm not telling my guy uh, not that to was, stop working. That was weird. Oh, that's, that's cool. Weird. <laughs> my guy's working. You get the real look behind it's, the scenes. It's just like when they go to the movie, when you watch nightly news. There's always yeah. guys in the back of the acres. What are they doing, work. really? Research. Like, Listen to the scanners. Okay, but to the trade. Yeah. Why would the Chiefs do that? They just won a Super Bowl without without him. Thank Why you, not? Jason. Thank like, you, Jason. You, you won without him. always want to get better, Well, no? of course, but I, I don't know that I'm giving up a first-round pick first. if I'm the Chiefs when I just won a Super Bowl without an elite number my one first, option. My first round pick is the 31st. Yeah, I know. I get it. Draft. But I'm just like, had they not won last year? Or had they really felt the missing well, presence of Well, just you won last year doesn't mean you're going to win the next they, one. But it proves you can. They traded somebody more cheat codish than Cooper Cup. And they Tyree had Kill. Tyreek Hill yeah. and Kelsey. And it was unstoppable. Mike asked, first, of all, first of all, Mike asked me, as you've said, give me a trade that would be Fun, would be like a fun yeah, it would trade. Yeah, make the season the more fun. That's all and we're that's doing. why I said it. I think that's fair compensation. All right. Now. That's fine. Why would Tyvis say, of course I want him to go to the Chiefs? Why would I want him to go to the – that's the last team I want him to go to. Facts, yeah. I don't, I don't know I don't know the answer to that. I don't no. want him to go to the Chiefs. Surprised so, you didn't put Cooper Cup on the Bengals. Man, look. They don't really got For a seventh-round pick. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't agree with – like, they're unstoppable. Like, okay, you're going to run underneath routes the whole game. Cool. Sweet. Like that's not. Yeah, I mean, to his point about Kevin Durant to the to the Warriors. Well, that was Tyreek Hill on the Chiefs. Like that was Tyreek Hill on the Chiefs. You had that, bro. What are you talking about? And by the way, there is no comparison with the Durant Warriors. The Durant Warriors to me beat the '96 Bulls. I got the Durant Warriors. Depends what rules you're playing with. You playing? You playing '96 rules? Are you playing? You got a three point line. I'll I'll tell you to your point. Yeah, that '17 Cavs team was better than the Cavs team that won the championship. Oh yeah, they were they're, way they're better, way you, better. But ah, whatever. We're not, we don't want to yeah. go get into this. Thing All right, now. next go one. This that one, Christmas Day game. That's fun. That's the that best game, game I've ever seen. Fun. This next one's less of a blockbuster. It involves the Browns. Yeah, and I do think this trade would make the season more fun because I think it makes the Browns better. Very simple. Very basic, a straight-up player for player. DPJ to the Bears for Jack Sanborn. If you guys don't know who Jack Sanborn was, he started six games at linebacker last season. He's a rookie. In his six starts, 64 tackles, two sacks, two forced fumbles, five tackles for loss, and a safety. The Bears went out and signed three linebackers this offseason, including giving Tremaine Edmonds the largest inside linebacker contract ever. And I'm drawing the blank on the so guy that's So why would I Eagles. trade? Like, I... 
He's I, now a second string linebacker. Why would I trade another linebacker that's a, a slappy, just like the guest slappies I already have, and give up a piece of my offense? Because I think Cedric Tillman could fill in and give you 85% of DPJ, and I think I'm not well, fully buying Well, I better get 100% in. of DPJ or I'm not trading them. I'm not fully buying in that Walker, Taki Taki, and the rest of the linebackers are healthy enough to perform but at the you, level Sam Bourne you, You're could trading for them. a guy that the team that drafted him last year said, we better sign three linebackers because he stinks. And he was he only got six productive. Star. He started the last six games of the season was beyond productive. Although, PFF grade through the roof. So why don't they maybe like a worse organization. This doesn't make the season better. Nobody gives yeah, a crap on it. I told you this was the one. This is the one that had this no lame. stars. Let's in move it. on. No stars. This and DBJ yeah. could be their punt returner. Yeah, I don't like that trade. Bears need receivers. Who cares? Yeah. All right, we'll go to the next. Two, next big like one. That's right. a dud. We talked about this is a big one here. This is two Pro Bowlers. This is Earl's trade or yours? This is my trade. We'll get to Earl's last. Earl's is the very last one. We talked about two attack Loyola. Dolphins need to be healthy if they're going to compete for a playoff spot. Their offensive line's abysmal. Last season in Las Vegas, Colton Miller was the fifth highest graded right tackle in football. Two is a lefty. The right tackle is his blind side. So, what if you swap Colton Davis to the Dolphins? Colton for Raquan Miller. Dav- Colton oh. Miller, excuse me. For Raquan Davis, a fifth and a third. Raquan Davis, defensive tackle, plays alongside Christian Wilkins, who was one of the highest rated defensive tackles in all of football last season. This protects to his blind side, significantly improves the Dolphins' offensive line. The Raiders are going nowhere this year. They're essentially in a rebuild. You get a young defensive tackle, two more picks to work with, and they don't have to pay Colton Miller, who's due for a massive extension yeah, this offseason. If I'm going to trade a premier offensive lineman, I want more than – a guy on defense and two mid-round picks. I, I don't know. Davis is a star on defense, though. You're trading almost young star for young star. You just don't have to pay Davis as quickly and two mm. extra picks. All right. Uh, it's a wash. I mean, this one doesn't excite me. This is not exciting. It's an offensive lineman. You that know. doesn't make the season more fun. No. The, you, the only, the only, You're breaking your rules, Mike. The only way this things can be this fun this is more quarterbacks. This quarterbacks. Tyreek Hill. Quarterbacks, run running backs, only, and receivers. We only yes. want skill position trades. Only skills. Right, well, then we're getting in the Don't next one. Don't need fat guy trades. Well, we're getting in the next one then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have two versions I of this love trade. Bull rubs his belly. <laughs> Earl and I both came up with Aaron Donald trades for the Browns. Okay, now he's now one we're having bad fun. Guy. Yeah, that's yeah. An okay, bad guy. there's two of these. Yeah, I need the people out in the chat to let us know which one. You more shouldn't realistic. say which is yours and which is Earl's. Okay, that's fair. Okay, here's the first one. Steve, you can take. I it. bet you I can figure it out. Aaron Donald for Greg Newsom, Dewan Jones, and a third round pick. What do you think of the compensation? Is that fair? before we show the next one? Is this compensation in the right range? Too much? Too little? What do you think? I think that's a good trade. I mean, Aaron Donald, my first reaction was like the Browns are giving up too much. But then I'm like, Aaron Donald is still playing at Aaron a Hall Donald, of Fame level. Yeah. And Dewan Jones, while I like the potential, that's all it is. Yeah, I actually think they need to. And Greg Newsom's okay. You I, know. I think it needs to be better pick than a third rounder two years from now. I actually don't think that's enough for Aaron Donald. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's right. the first one. Are you guys ready it's for the second bad, one? Though. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. bad. Okay, Steve, let's take the second one. Aaron Donald for DPJ in a third round That's pick. Earl's. Oh. First one was Mikey's. That's God. Earl's. Like what? Like, like, so no chance in hell. Like, this better not be yours. This better be Earl's. No, that's so, Earl's. So, so let me, let me. That is Earl's. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> like this oh is, this God. trash right here, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> they might they might find you for this, bro. Like you Earl, might be fine. Earl. Like the league might like this won't even go through a Madden. Like he played Madden. He should have tried this oh out. My. And that green that green that bar is is red as hell. It ain't even yellow. DPJ in a third. Why round would the pick? Rams even want DPJ? He's a free agent at the end of the year. Yeah. They're rebuilding. Yeah. At well, least Earl's- the guys Mike was trading were Our guys contract. That, right. They're on those are guys they could keep. Earl said they want a clear cap space and they could always re-sign DPJ. No. I mean, Earl is... You'd have to I, give up. You'd I, have we to, know he's the biggest homer on the show. You'd have to give up. A, like they, they I might can't not, believe he's not here to get crushed They right might now. not do that with a first-round pick. No, I, would, I wouldn't do that if I were the Rams for a first-round pick. No. DPJ... <laughs> No value. It's ridiculous. Zero value. He has I traded DP, DPJ for Jack Sanborn. Earl traded DPJ for Aaron Donald. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. One of these is not like the other. 
This is listen. We do have Tyvis responding to this trade. Uh, to Tyvis, this one? what do you say about oh, this? God. They're declining that for sure. They they laugh at your in your face and hang the phone up if you, <laughs> if you even started off. If Aaron Donald, I know that he's older and he's at the towards the end, but I mean he's still the best defensive tackle in the history of the game, and he's still going to be productive. And you're pairing him on a defensive line that has Dalvin Tomlinson, Miles Garrett, and Zadarius Smith or Double O, like that. Come on, man! <laughs> like, stop it. We got. Can we get Earl on the line here? Let me text Earl. That see is if the he most ludicrous trade. I mean, that's. I expect better from Earl now. And, and see, that's that, a that's a trade that fans come up with where they don't even think about what the other team might you, want. You got to think about it. That's the that's the type of trade that I would say only in Cleveland. Yeah, right. Like, right. like that's the fantasy football trade you yeah. send to the dude yeah, in the league. Yeah, yeah. Like no, like. DPJ is the new Rashard Higgins. Right. He has that, zero. That, DPJ that's, has zero value in a trade. That, zero. He, he still has not yet made his. Like, there, there's different types of veterans. Veterans that are on the squad regardless. Yeah. Like, Donovan People Jones could theoretically go to another squad and be on the bubble list and be like, Ooh. like, he go to Jacksonville. You might not say he's one of their top five. Yeah. Like, they're, 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 like he just is now getting to a point where, okay, well, he's on the Browns roster snugly. Yeah. But he's going to have to go in the free agent market and find somebody that's going to give him a bag of money. A, a mediocre, a, a decent receiver decent. that's going to be a free agent has no interest right. to any team that may be looking to next he's year. He's average at best. Yes. Yeah. So. I have texted Earl of the mix link if he would like to join I and mean, defend himself. Earl. He could not be more lost. You couldn't trade your best receiver for Aaron Donald in the fifth. <laughs> so, to give you all a little context, we came up with these. Er, Earl gave me his yesterday morning when he was in. Yeah. And Anthony, who usually edits with his headphones on and kind of is in his own world, took his headphones off to listen to this. Now, yeah. Anthony, admittedly, is not like a Madden GM. Like, Anthony's not – and, Anthony, if you want to hop on the mic at any point, you can chime in. Like – Usually when me and Earl are going back and forth, Anthony kind of sits off to the side and, and chimes in when he feels necessary. And when Earl proposed that, Anthony looked at him like he had 12 heads. <laughs> and if Anthony says that, that's how I knew. I was like, yeah, yeah might oh not be his God. best uh, He his was best actually making an argument against you for this trade, being fair? He said I was giving up way too much. He they, said, went, they went back and forth on this for like 10 minutes. No. He said Jones, Newsom, and a third was way too much. Earl must have been having that fever yesterday. Yep. He was sick that yesterday. That fever was kicking you in can't? yesterday. When you make a, a, a fake trade, okay, you can't let, oh, I'm a homer, and, oh, I think Dewan Jones is going to be not. The Rams passed on Dewan Jones in the draft. Four no, times. Right. Well, At least three they, times. I don't know they had all those well, that's true. picks. That's true. But, like, it's not, the guy was just in the draft, okay? He may turn out to be a good player, but his value in a trade hasn't gone up no. Much, if at all, no. because he did a nice job in one But preseason. we'll get to that here in a few minutes in the next segment. That is a great tease. I and, Jason, argue, thank you for that. That was an elite transition. I, but before well, we get to the nice topic itself. I could argue that on the Cleveland Browns team, there is only one person with legit value. No. There's at least two. No. that's No, not no, no. At least, least two. Think about it. In a trade. And, like, that you get, you get elite value back. Oh, because you're saying Watson couldn't because of the contract? Watson's contract, Denzel Ward's injury in the contract. Yeah, right now, at this moment in time, you couldn't probably trade Watson. Uh, yes, uh, you could. Well, you could, but you couldn't get a lead you value. You couldn't get a lead Miles value. Miles Garrett, back. you'd get the Now, if the Sean Watson plays great this year, then you could yeah, get yeah, it. But, yes. but today, only, only Miles, Miles Garrett. Garrett. And the two That's back, right. your two it's other players are guards, and you're guards right. have no value. Miles Garrett is the, o- is the only player that brings – yes. Next week, should we value. do a uh, – He's right. No, it's Mark good, Cooper doesn't get you a leaf. I didn't. He didn't. No. Win. He went for a fifth. Chubb's hey, a running back. Antonio's too old. Zadarius Smith went for a fifth. Chubb yeah. is a running back. This is producer yeah. thinking. Right next week, what if we did a topic on what is each Browns player's current trade value? That'd be fun, or would you guys hate that? Nah, that'd be good. I like that. I would just do it in picks, just to keep it simplified. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Picks, yeah, like, like, yeah. Exactly. The, like the, player X is worth this a second and a fourth. Right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it might be shocking. Like a trade chart type thing. It might yeah. be shocking. Your best players be fourth round. I think round. a lot of people would I be surprised. I still think Watson would bring back the second biggest return behind Garrett. I believe that's probably accurate. Right? Yes. But now, if Watson has a great great season this year, then it changes because then you're like, okay, I don't care about his contract. He's worth it. 
And the scary part is, I don't even, well, Watson, you might not get no ones back, man. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you, would. Get a one. you would definitely get a you one. Would. You would. I don't know. You yeah, wouldn't you would. get the three ones plus that they gave well, to, up. Well, but, to, I'm, I'm, but here's the thing. If it was just today, I'm looking at the, at the climate. Who is open? Who's what position quarterback position is open where people are going to be like, hey, let's give us some ones for this guy today. You don't think Atlanta would do it? They tried to get him. They just I, drafted. Okay. Who did Atlanta just drafted? Desmond Ritter two years ago. But he ain't that Atlanta, good. Atlanta would do it. They bring him home. Atlanta. Yeah. Tampa would do it. Um, uh, who were the other teams? The Saints were in on him. Carolina was but, in on him. But I don't, think, I don't think the Saints would do it now. I bet far. you the Rams would do it. Stafford's getting old. Yeah. I, 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 that. He, I wonder he, if the he, Patriots would do it. I wonder if Bill would do it. Yep. Jets, maybe. I think he's seen <laughs> enough of Mac Jones. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, think right, more I do have one think. more trade, and this comes via Earl's a super too chat. Sick to come in, to come on? He might, honestly, Earl, I talked, he was not, he sounded absolutely terrible. Oh, he felt man. terrible. All right, we'll so leave him be there. Hope, uh, but Earl, Earl we love him. him while he's down. But yeah, that, was the wor- <laughs> that was an all-time all right. bad trade offer. Um, from Professor Chaos. Yeah. Didn't In, he get, did we already have one from him? We have a new one from him. Okay. He's rich. In Joku, two seconds and a first for George Kittle. What? Say that again. I'm not doing that if I'm the Browns. Say that again. Joku, two second round picks and a first for George Kittle. <laughs> what are you high? Is he out of his mind? What? I what love George you? Kittle and he's and he's better than Njoku, but he's not young and he's injury prone. And he's not gonna get the ball like that anyway. It's like, the injuries more than anything for me. It's two now the, first. Now let me ask you this. No, two seconds and a first. Would you give that up for Kelsey? I, that's the only guy I might. No. And I and even that's too much probably. No. If Kelsey, but you have to consider it for Kelsey. Kelsey three years ago, I would give up that much. You can't give up that's that much for a thirty two year old Kelsey. These are that's quarterback territory. I'll tell you what, the Browns blow most of the picks anyway. I'd do it. For Kelsey? Absolutely. For Kelsey, I'd, I'd, I'd seriously your, consider your window it. is right, right now. now. It's Gee, right now. Kelsey? Can you imagine Kelsey on this team? I, I, I would do it. It's overpaying. Even okay. For Kelsey, it, you already age, overpaid for the quarterback. The I, hell, he might I as well. I would do it for Kelsey, not for Kittle, though. No. I can't no. give you that one. I can't give you the one. Give me. A I would. Two, uh, give, you one, give me. Can I? I'll trade. Give me Kelsey, a two, three, and a seven. Nope, I'd do it. I I give him a one. I, and I'd two, give. Two I would do that Kelsey. crazy trade. It's overpaying, but I would do it. You've I'm got, with Jason. You got a two-year window, really, right now. But, can you imagine Travis year, Kelsey? How year. good this offense could be. He's a million times better It'd than be David silly. Njoku. It'd be absolutely silly. By the way, what percentage of our fans think David Njoku's almost as good as Kelsey? Better. I'll put it in a, I'll put it in a poll. But Who's before we better? Do that, oh, no. Travis Kelsey no. or David Njoku? They ain't that crazy. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, I'll put, I'll put it in a percentage. I will do it. Before, though, we have to get this last topic, and I got to do one last fast 